So I'm changing some stuff in my room behind me, but also in front of me. And I came across a lot of magazines and I thought, let's do an episode about those hip hop magazines from back in the day. Hi, I'm the hip hop collector. Hiphopcollector.com First of all, you should know that I'm located in Belgium, that small little country in Europe. And not all magazines were always available. So my main source was actually the source itself. Of which this one is an example. I really have hundreds of those. The sword for me was like, probably like many others, like a Bible, because there was hardly internet. You cannot imagine how many times I went through every source, every single page, just to find new stuff, small articles, small pictures of albums that I did not know, so I could go and look for them or try to order them. Back then it was not always that easy, I remember that very well. But the source was always cool. You also had the mic section. I didn't always agree with them, but okay, everyone has his opinion. Uh, but the source, yeah, I love that very much. Still now, I like to go through them again. Look at all the old fashion, which is still cool in my opinion though. All those baggy trousers, sweatshirts, it's really nice. Look at the old pictures, of course, of all the hip hop legends. Then secondly, what came pretty regularly here was the rap pages. Um, they had a little bit of a different approach. Uh, very good articles in there always. I prefer the source, I remember that. But the rap pages came very close. It's really cool. Really liked all the articles, like I said, reviews, really nice. And then thirdly, you had a UK magazine called The Hip Hop Connection, which I also liked because the approach was also different because it was, like I said, a UK magazine. So they looked differently at the uh, US hip hop releases compared to the source and the rap pages. So some criticism, more criticism I might think than the other magazines, but I really like it. And those three magazines, source, rap pages and the hip hop connections, those three came like regularly, every month, they were there. The rap pages from time to time was a bit slow or it skipped a month and then a little panic happened. Like what happens? There is no rap pages. Where is rap pages? Oh, didn't it arrive, sir, this month? But okay, uh, those are memories in my head. It's really nice. And then a bit later came also, for example, the rap sheet. Which was totally different because it's yeah it's a sheet it looks very old with colors also whereas the other magazines stay a bit uh, like how they were but the rap sheet was actually pretty cool I was pretty happy to have new information the more magazines there were the better for me you also had the XXL of course. Also nice, I wasn't the biggest fan of that, I don't know why. But okay, I just took them. It's just nice. And then you had some magazines that mm, did not arrive here regularly. At least not in the stores that I went to. For example, Murder Dog. On the go. Blaze Magazine, Stress Magazine, what do we have here, Beat Down, 
an ego trip. But boy, oh boy, am I glad that I still have all of them because going through them is like a trip down memory lane. I go through them, I think every week I take one and just enjoy all the memories that come back. It's really nice. I'm really curious also what your favorite hip hop magazines were back in the days. Source, Rap Ages, Hip Hop Connection, others. Let me know, I'm really curious. Hip Hop magazines, really cool, really cool to have. If you see there, behind me, they're all laying there. Like I said, trip down memory lane. See you in the next episode. Peace. Hip-hop